And when I flew the P-47, we first checked out on it, nobody knew what compressibility was, okay? So we have a guy that goes up at some 30,000 feet and pulls it over, and he gets into compressibility, and he does the wrong thing, but he, he, he didn't know it was the wrong thing. He pulls the power back, and when you pull the power back, the 47 tucks under yeah. like that. Yeah. So you gotta put the power on to try to get it down. By the time he got down, geez, we figured, I think, like 12,000 feet, and he started to pull out. Uh, he ended 50 feet below the top of the tallest mountain there, and the the reports we had was everybody heard him up and down the valley for 40 miles. Now, we then have a meeting the next day, and Flying Safety now tells us about compressibility. Yeah. Never be above 30,000 feet and stick your nose straight down because you're going to get in compressibility. Next day, everybody gets an airplane, and guess what they did? 30,000, 30, 30, 32,000. <laughs> and I did too, okay? I'm going to tell you something. Kind of scares the crap out of you. Yeah. Because when you get down, I'm. <laughs> You know, the, when you're going straight down, the altitude is lagging, you know, yeah. it's not up. But I'm guessing that somewhere around 25,000 feet, I started to notice that I, I couldn't pull the, the control stick yeah. back, okay? And then as we kept going down, Man, I could tell I couldn't pull it down, and it's trying to tuck under all the time. And you're still picking speed up as well, aren't you? Well, I, I guess so, but they yeah. tell me the out, this airspeed was not too, uh, okay. too accurate at those high speeds. Anyway, I'm trying, and I can't. I've got my two uh, feet on the rudder pedals, and I'm pulling back as hard as I can. And all I can do is keep us going straight down. Now. I would guess that I was like 15,000 feet, 16,000 feet when I first started feeling it out, coming out. And one of the things they warned us against, don't crank in all the nose up trim because as soon as it starts coming out and you got that nose up trim, you're going to come up and uh, you're going to end up in a big, big old stall, okay? Yeah. Anyway, uh, it worked out all right, but I have to tell you, it was, um, it was scary enough that I never tried that again. <laughs>